so excited to be here. And in the interest of time, I'm just going to dive right in. Thank you so much for that introduction, Shirley. And I'm going to talk about five Latin American artists. As I was thinking about the theme, Carnaval, I thought, I, what what is it that I can talk about? And I felt like, let me pinpoint artists that think about color in their work. Because when you think about carnival, you think about color. So I'm going to start with Francisco Oyer, who's one of our most famous Puerto Rican artists. He was born in Bayamón in 1833, died in 1917. And what's important about him is that he actually was the only Latin American artist that were part of the Impressionist movement. Here you see him with Camille Pizarro and Renoir, among others, Impressionists at that time. Um, and this was his time of being in, in Paris with the Impressionists. Uh, this is a work that he did of Paul Cezanne, <clears throat> painting outdoors. And that's part of what the Impressionists were about, right? Painting outdoors, thinking about color, although this one is a little murky. Um, painting everyday subjects, like a person with an umbrella. Before this time, it was mostly historical paintings and grand mythological painting. This is another work that he did in Paris, El Estudiante, The Student. This is in a collection of uh, El Museo de Orsay in Paris. Again, an everyday subject. I mean, they're not even looking at the viewer. And this was very much what the Impressionist movement was about. And then he had a moment where he went back and forth between Paris and Puerto Rico. When he landed in Puerto Rico in um, the 1880s, he decided to paint his own country, his own island. This is called La Ceiba de Ponce, a very famous ceiba tree in Puerto Rico. I did hear that it recently did die in 2021, but it was an iconic work that he did. And he brought back some of those impressionist influences, the interest in light, again, painting outdoors. He also was very interested in the vegetation. This iconic work, Platanos Amarillos, is an oil on canvas at El Museo del Barrio. It's not on view right now, but sometimes they do rotate it. And I, I encourage you to, when it is on view, to go see it. And Bodegón con Guineos, Jara y Panjuiles from 1870. So he became very interested in his own, his own country. And also in the people. So we have Rafael uh, Cordero, He's a teacher. He was actually the father of Puerto Rican education, and he was a black man. And so Francisco Oyer was, was an abolitionist and really did exalt people of color in his work. At the end of every artist, I do include a quote. Like the writer, the artist must participate in the epic in which he lives. He must be of his country, of his people, if he wants to be authentic. 